There are few careers as versatile as mechanical engineering. Mechanical engineers design, test, and oversee the manufacture of products. They work in a variety of industries, and the products can range from automobiles to medical devices. Of all occupations, even outside of engineering, this is one of the oldest. Should you become a mechanical engineer in 2022? Later in this video, we will cover the history of mechanical engineers, wages, demand, demographics, and more. Engineering has been around for thousands of years. In the ancient world, engineering was used in irrigation, architecture, and wonders like the pyramids. Mechanical engineering got going with the invention of the six classical simple machines. These include the pulley, the lever, wheel and axle, wedge, inclined plane, and the screw. All of these inventions emerged in or around the Middle East thousands of years before Christ. Fast forward to the third century BC, Archimedes develops key mathematical theories useful in mechanical engineering. He came up with a theory for mechanical advantage, the law of the lever, and the Archimedes law. Hundreds of years later during the Middle Ages, Muslim inventors created the first windmill and even the first practical steam-powered machine. During the Renaissance, Leonardo da Vinci designed many different mechanical systems and even worked on a very early flying machine. Fast forward to the 16th century, the scientific revolution begins. In 1687, Isaac Newton formulated Newton's laws of motion and developed calculus, which was a precursor for physics. Around 100 years later, in 1760, the Industrial Revolution ramps up, vastly increasing the efficiency and production of goods. Manufacturing ends up spreading to Great Britain, Europe, and the United States. With the rise of computer-aided design in the 1960s, mechanical engineers today can even be more precise with their creations. Today, mechanical engineering is one of the big three engineering fields. In the United States, there's currently around 278,000 employed mechanical engineers. This is actually down from around 285,000 in 2016. In 2020, many occupations saw the number of employed drop due to the COVID pandemic. Still, the mechanical engineering workforce is massive and the third largest engineering workforce fourth if you include software developers. Although this workforce isn't distributed evenly across the United States. Motor City, also known as Detroit, as of 2021, has around 22,000 employed mechanical engineers, the most of any metropolitan area in the United States. The second largest market for mechanical engineers is Los Angeles with around 10,000 employed mechanical engineers. Choosing the right career is one of the most important decisions you will make. The average person spends around 90,000 hours working in their entire lifetime or about one third of their entire life. Choosing the wrong career in every hour could be anguish. Whereas you choose the right occupation, you could get a lot of meaning out of it, a lot of satisfaction, and it could be potentially be lucrative. We have a seven step process with our course, Choose the Right Career. Check out the link below for more details. Becoming a mechanical engineer 90% of the time requires at least a bachelor's degree. Although if you do go on indeed.com, you will see job postings that are open to people with just an associate's degree, such as this one. But in general, if you really wanna progress and compete for the better mechanical engineering jobs, nine times out of 10, you need that bachelor's degree. It is also required to sit in for the professional engineering license, which can help you progress in your career and enter management. So what kind of people become mechanical engineers? Mechanical engineering, just like every engineering field, is male dominated. 91% of employed mechanical engineers are male, 9% self-report as Hispanic Latino, 79 self-report as white Caucasian, 6% African American, and 15% Asian American. Mechanical engineers, like other types of engineers, have excellent critical thinking skills. They also need active listening skills to really understand what their customers want in their products. This is also useful on teams. A key interest in mathematics and physics is essential, as well as a good understanding of the scientific method. Reading comprehension is also important. Mechanical engineers read and interpret blueprints, technical drawings, and reports. Payscale around 2014 did a survey of mechanical engineers and found that 53% are satisfied with their jobs and 60% believe their work makes the world a better place. As for the personalities of mechanical engineers, the most common Myers-Briggs type is the inspector, the ISTJ, followed by the ESTJ, the director, and number three is ISTP, the crafter. As for the most likely Myers-Briggs types to become a mechanical engineer, it's actually the ENTJ, also known as the commander, followed by the INTJ, and then number three is the INTP, the inventor. So how much money can mechanical engineers expect to earn in 2021? 
In 2016, the average base salary of a mechanical engineer was $89,800. In 2021, base salaries rose to around $97,000 per year, and between 2020 and 2021, base salaries rose by around $1,400 or 1 1.6%. By average base salary, mechanical engineering is the 14th highest paying engineering field when we exclude software developers. But the region really matters. In 2021, the highest paying metro area for mechanical engineers is San Jose, California, where the average base salary is around 138,000 per year. Throw in benefits at 30% and total compensation reaches 179,000 per year in San Jose, California. As you can see, there's a lot to think about before becoming a mechanical engineer. If you're a mechanical engineer, let us know down in the comments below what you like and what you dislike about this particular occupation. We have a lot of other content on a lot of other careers to really help you figure out which career is best for you. And as for our course, Choose the Right Career, uh, there is a link below in the description below and probably the first comment. Thanks so much for watching. And if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below and I will see you next time.